Hi, my name is Jolene Graham. I have taught fifth grade for five years and fourth grade for two years. I really enjoy using exchange compare writing in my classroom. It gives the opportunity for my students to use some of the key vocabulary or key terms in their own language and collaboratively write a prediction on the story or passage they're about to read. I find that creating a prediction really helps my students stay engaged in the lesson because they're looking forward to see how close they are to the actual story that they're reading. Collaboratively, writing reinforces the student's ability to provide reasons for their thinking as well as listening and cooperation skills. On the screen, you can see an example I put together that represents what my students have done in a previous lesson using the book So Far From the Sea by Eve Bunting. To begin my lesson, I just I read through the book and picked out some key terms or vocabulary words that I think are important to the understanding of the whole book. Um, here you can see I wrote a passage um, a, I predicted a passage based on what the words were that I that I chose from the book. Um, this is based on what my student, what I think my students would have done. And after we read the book together as a class, my students will go back using those same words and write a summary of what we have read, and they'll do that collaboratively as well. Um, this strategy is wonderful because it doesn't just limit itself to literacy. It's a great strategy to integrate reading and writing into subjects like math, science, and social studies. Students are able to continue practicing and reinforcing their reading and writing skills as they learn to review content from these subjects. The collaboration also really helps with um, peer tutoring pairing students together, some high and low students, it really helps them want to improve on their reading and their writing skills. Some extensions, some digital extensions that you can use with this strategy include um, Google Docs or TitanPad. And here's an example of Google Docs. <clears throat> And it's a free web-based writing document supported by Google. It allows users to create and edit documents online while collaborating with other users. In order to use Google Docs, students have to have an account as well as a computer or another device to um, write or record their thinking. It's really user-friendly and it allows for the teacher to see all of the edits and work done by each student. So that really allows every student to participate in the activity and it really helps you see what each student exactly did to participate with the activity. Um, it's really easy. They can go to File and Share. When they share the document, they can share it by a link. They can share it through these different um, websites, such as um, Google+, Facebook, or Twitter. They can also send it through an email address. Um, another one that's really similar to Google Docs is TitanPad. And I like it because TitanPad does not require students to have an account unlike Google Docs. So for your some of your elementary students who don't maybe don't have email addresses or access to computers at all times, TitanPad might be a better fit for your classroom. This application allows for one person to share a pad with as many people as they like through a web address or email. And you can identify who is who while collaboratively writing because the text is highlighted in different colors. So in order to go ahead and start a pad, you would like to create a public pad. And it shows your name. You can input your student name right here. And you can choose any color. Like we can choose purple and save it. And when you are writing, it will highlight what you've written in the color that you've chosen. So as you can see, it will show exactly all of the work that I've put in. The students are able to write comments and share their feedback and suggestions through the chat and um, collaboratively work on this piece of writing together. 
Um, one suggestion I would make is that when your students are working, multiple students do not have the same color since that's the only way that you can tell who is who by the color that they have chosen. So that might just be a rule that you make before you use this application. So I hope you and your class really um, enjoy using Exchange Compare Writing as much as my students and I do in the classroom. Thank you.